Today I'm going to be doing a crazy challenge of going from Ghoul V1 to Ghoul V4 in one video. If you're not already, please like and subscribe and comment your favorite race awakening. So yeah, let's just get into this video, man. Alright, so of course I have to get Gold V2. So I had to talk to this NPC and he told me to get three different flowers. So it's the red flower, the yellow flower, and the blue flower. You can get the yellow flower from killing these NPCs. You can get the blue flower from this grave. And you can get the red flower, well, it spawns randomly, but I got it from here. Now, once you have all the flowers, talk to this NPC and give him a hefty 500,000. And there you go. Now I have gold V2. Now I'm going to go all over and get uh, gold V3. So uh, let's just do that right now. And I know I have to kill five players, but that, that's, that's easy for me. But hold on. Midway through the challenge, I realized you had to pay 2 million to this NPC. So I had to spend my real money and I had to get a permanent Buddha. But hopefully the sacrifice was worth it. Anyways, let's just go get back to the challenge. Now that I got enough money, I talked to the NPC and he told me to beat five players. Now, was I going to do this the harder easy way? Of course the easy way. I got my friend down and I killed him five times. I mean, who do you think I am killing second C players? Anyways, I finally reached the NPC and I paid off my hefty two million out of my pocket and I'm officially a ghoul V3. All I need to do now is the race awakening trial, which am I going to actually put some effort into? Probably not. But maybe in the next challenge, I might do a human v4 challenge and I might actually like put some effort into that one. I don't know. Now, after all this time, what seemed like a minute and 30 seconds to you was actually a couple hours for me. I finally reached the trial awakening room and in a panicked state, I realized I didn't have my Buddha equipped and I equipped it because I'd never done this trial before. But I mean, from the footage, it was a lot easier than I expected it to be. All you really do is just some slashing and hashing on enemies until they die. And then I eventually waited in the trial room, waiting for the other two to finish. And now after all trials were completed, these very friendly fellas resetted for me and I finally got the goal awakening. I was kind of confused where I was headed at first, but I eventually figured it out and I didn't know whether to talk to the orb, slowly going up the stairs, give it some time and there we are. I finally got the race awakening and let's just do a quick showcase right here. And finally, I got the ghoul V4. Honestly, it was pretty difficult, took a couple of hours, but um honestly was really fun and i'd definitely do it again so let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments for other races i could do and uh there's my friend he got angel which is pretty cool but uh make sure to like and subscribe and uh hope y'all boys enjoyed the video